r slash ask reddit what sucks about being a dude shaking your dong 37 times and still having pee drip on you later the tip won't drip until you zip waking up with both an overwhelming urge to piss and a raging erection and having to stand on the landing so it goes in the toilet sometimes when this happens i just piss in the tub seems like online dating is a lot more difficult for the average guy it's worse if you're short. Better chance I can find a working ice cream machine at McDonald's than have success with online dating as a 5 feet 3 inches guy. I'm 6 feet 1 inches and always rejected women who had height requirements on principle. I remember first going into online dating. I thought, I'm pretty decent looking. This will be no problem. Then I remember swiping until I ran out with maybe one or two matches who would end up ghosting me. Go being expected to make the first move during the dating process to the point where it is required in order to date at all. And this the vast majority of the time. But not 100% of the time. Because Reddit loves to bring up the rare outliers and hold that as the new standard. Yes, a very small amount of women will be the first to act and yes a very small amount of men have women throwing themselves at him. But those are very rare. Men are expected to be the one to put themselves in the vulnerable position of directly facing rejection. Look at any thread here about missing hints. A woman's way of making a move is to do so in a way that leaves her an out and leaves plausible deniability in case it doesn't go her way. Most women think that making a move is trying to tell him that it's okay to approach her. That's not making a move. That's playing defensive in order to force the onus on him. If a man gets hurt from rejection he's told to just shut up. Suck it up. This is just the way that it is. And to do out there and get rejected again until he becomes numb to it. If a man gets tired of always being the one in the vulnerable position and wants to stop doing so then he will live and die alone. Because the vast majority of women will not be an ambiguously direct about dating. And often here on reddit you see women say that they refuse to because they don't want to feel embarrassed or hurt if they get rejected. Well. Welcome to being a man. And some women say that men just don't like that because they had someone or saw someone react badly to it. That's bullshit. Every time there are tons of men saying that they wish women would do that. There are many, many different types of men out there. If every guy that you go for reacts badly to your advances then you need to reevaluate who you choose to go for. Men are effectively always the one to risk getting hurt because if they don't then they will spend their life alone. Agreed. I've had girls tell me they liked me but not until after they didn't feel that way anymore. I'm with you on this one. As a completely oblivious, but apparently not entirely unattractive. Hey, it's news to me, guy. The vast majority of times I've learned that someone has had a thing for me is upon meeting them years later when they confess that they used to have feelings for me. In a room full of women. If something breaks or falls apart, they look at me, expecting me to go fix it. I work with you people all day. What makes you think I'm a mechanic all of a sudden? Right? I'm a cook. Something will break and I'll be like the only thing I can do is season the mess. Haha my roommate told me this story. So a couple of weekends ago he was over at a lady friend's house. Apparently an entire roll of toilet paper fell in her toilet bowl. Well one of her friends somehow didn't notice this and took a giant shit and tried to flush it. Filling the basin to the brim with shit water. They expected him to go elbow deep in this foul mixture to fish out all that TP even though he had nothing to do with the problem simply because he was a dude. He opted to pee outside that weekend instead. The overwhelming loneliness. Having balls stuck to your thigh. Women will never understand the plague of having your nuts glued to your thighs. The real curse comes from having to unstick them in public. There's no real way to do it simply since the required motions are pretty obvious. You aren't fooling anyone with your awkward crab like sidestep and putting your hand in your pocket to try and do it can look worse than it really is. I've found that hiking my waistband up and twisting it around tends to help but that usually tightens my pants in a way that my balls become outlined since I have to pull them up so high. I wear really loose pants. I've just been saying duck it recently and grab them without shame. Sure, it gets some questionable looks but everyone should know by this point that balls tend to stick and need to be unstuck. If women can adjust their boobs without being criticized, I should be able to adjust my nuts without criticism. 
If I go anywhere alone I'm creepy. No. I'm just a single guy who doesn't want to sit alone in his house 24-7 and want to go out and enjoy the world like a normal person. So I go shopping alone and I eat alone and I go to movies alone. Just leave me be. I'm doing the best I can okay? I got out everywhere alone. Dinner. Movies. Bars etc. I seldom go out with people. If people think I am creepy I am unaware and would probably prefer to keep it that way. Can't be around children playing with them like women can. So my friend was at his uncle's wedding last year. Family do. Obviously. Folk with kids and that. They set up a corner for the kids to play in. Another uncle was there keeping an eye on the kids to make sure they don't kill themselves each other. As kids have this habit of trying to do. Some woman storms up and starts having a go at the guy. Calling him a creep for watching the kids. He just turns to her and says that's my daughter over there. I'm making sure she's alright. He doesn't leave just stays there being an attentive dad. She keeps trying to make him leave. And he just ignores her. Seriously. Duck all that shit. I think the generalization that fathers are incompetent when it comes to child care. Oh wow. Babysitting I see. Where's? Name of spouse. Duck you lady they're my kids too. I'm not babysitting them. I'm parenting them. When someone asks where my wife is, after 4 years of hearing it, I tell them she died. The shock on their face is usually worth it. I do this too and my kids pretend to be sad, then we laugh when they walk away. Nonyan really tells you what to do in bad situations. Being a guy is great but if problems appears then chances that you're gonna be a man and deal with it on your own is pretty big. And it gets worse if you reveal any aptitude in dealing with shit. Then other people actively try to push their shit onto you to deal with. And you don't want their shit. You have enough of your own shit. But they don't care. You are a man and expected to deal with shit. We have unreachable body image expectations too. We just can't talk about it. You can't forget that ours are potentially unreachable because height is a major component yet is almost entirely genetic. I'll steal my own post from another thread. When compared to women two things really suck. Makeup. Have an ugly pimple when you wake up. Slap a little makeup on that bastard. Dark eyes because you were out too late. Smear that shit all over you until it's not visible. This list goes on and on. I don't understand makeup. Men can't wear this without some serious reactions from our peers. Being a guy, I'm always expected to go kill the big nasty that's in the house. Spider slash snake whatever dangerous critter. I don't like IT either Sarah IT's venomous damn it. God damn it Sarah. Bro. I travel a lot for work and 100% carry women's concealer with me at all times haha. Ha. No shame. Refractory period. I think the refractory period is there as a safety mechanism to prevent us from jacking ourselves to death. Mine sucks. I can only go once a day. Every girl I've been with accuses me of finding them unattractive but I physically can't do it again I'm sorry. The mind is willing, but the flesh is spongy and bruised. The paradox of a single man. If you don't approach you are shy. If you do approach you are a creep. There's some extreme judgment for penis size. Even though it is completely uncontrollable. If you're overweight, you can exercise. Teeth can be fixed. Toupees can be bought. ETC. But if you're small in the penis department you're stuck with it. Ass hair. Dude I am really enjoying my life before back hair and nose hair. Let alone ass hair. I got ass hair before either of those. Sexual harassment is not a thing. Tell someone and they'll laugh at you thinking you're joking or assume you're gay for not enjoying it. I've dealt with quite a bit of that at one of my places I've worked. They would joke about replacing my wife. They would grab my butt. And they would even, I kid you not, try to kiss me. But oh it's okay though. It's all in good fun. Being single, alone, and having to go out to bars alone, and when trying to make conversation, no one is interested in speaking with you bc you're alone and perceived as a loser. It's ducking depressing as duck. This problem shows how shallow people really are. I'm divorced. Sometimes if my friends can't go to a bar I just go alone rather than stay home. I try to talk to people, make friends, buy drinks. I'm treated like ducking cancer when I go out alone, but when I go out with a friend or a group it is completely different. 
I'm the same guy, but people are open and welcoming and I make friends all night long as long as I don't walk in the door and sit at the bar alone initially, it really upsets me. The military draft. Israel solved this issue in the ultimate way, they drafting everybody. Having women assume you're hitting on them after high. Yep, this happened to me a few times, I'm gay so it usually makes me laugh. A couple of times, I turn the gear up to 11 and say oh honey, with those shoes, no way. I'm not gay, but in the future if I need to talk to a woman and she assumes I'm hitting on her I'm totally doing this. When you're wearing snug jeans and your junk gets caught in the crease. Alternatively, when you are wearing loose fitting jeans and there's a crease that looks like you have a boner. When you love cute things you instantly start being seen as gay, I mean I am but still. Straight guy here, I share videos of adorable animals regularly on Facebook, no shame. Being skinny and people assume I'm weak and feeble, sorry, I'm not the he-man you desire. Just stab them with your skinny elbows. Skinny guy here, can confirm, use elbows as a replacement for knives. Random boners. They aren't that bad once you learn to embrace them. Absolutely, move that shit to the left thigh and rock with it. Women can have tasteful cleavage. You're not gonna shame me because of my anatomy. You're pretty much never going to get sympathy. Which is okay because 99.99% you're not going to want it be ashamed if you received it. But that other 0.01% of the time, it can be difficult. Break you down on the side of a highway and cry difficult. Not being able to like cute things without being seen as weird. Yep, that's only until you get out of high school or college. You don't have to hang around people who think it's weird after that. Yep, nothing wrong with visiting lakes to see all the ducklings and goslings. There's basically nothing you can do if a girl rapes you. Not true. You can always go to jail for it. Funny story. My buddy spent years fighting a rape accusation because a girl raped him while he was passed out drunk at her house party and when he refused to start a relationship with the crazy beat she went to the cops and said he raped her. She got 5 years. And it was only cause she tried to do the same thing to someone else and that guy went to the cops first. A lot women are unaware that the same men that might be suffering from depression and anxiety are also the ones sensitive enough to be attentive and responsive to your emotions. It's a double edged sword. If you want that stoic statue, don't complain when he doesn't want to hear your problems from your work day. That's the bargain you strike. Much longer prison sentences for the same crime. The stats show anti-male bias in the justice system is far larger than the racial bias. Yet not only is this not talked about, people still say the problem is it's women who are too harshly treated. Having to shave your ducking face every ducking morning. This is why I have a beard. One girl I dated recently thought it was okay to hit me in the face when she lost arguments. On a few occasions, with a tsunami of cortisol and adrenaline crashing against the back of my eyes, it's difficult not to answer physical violence with physical violence. You know, the sensation of being torn in half like that sucks. Physical abuse sucks for everybody, but just the added stink of knowing she could get away with it against me with no retaliation lest I end up in jail. With that look in her eyes like what are you going to do about it, you earned that someday that karma is going to end her up with a black eye from some dude with less self control than I had. It sucks my brain gets hacked by something as simple as a low cut shirt on a well endowed woman. I have to literally think twice about the actions of female co-workers. I have noticed my initial reaction is almost always softer or more accepting if the person in question is attractive. Combine this with a pretty low bar for what I deem attractive in the first place and it becomes a hassle. I also hate that women can touch me or my kid without any level of familiarity. I don't want any strangers putting hands on my son. I'd see how cute you think he is or how many kids you have. I have had women literally tell me stop walking, so they can fuss over my little dude. It's not alright and it generally makes him uncomfortable. The fact that I'm a single dad compounds this issue immensely. How shady would I look if I just walked on by and ignored them completely? Half the time I feel like they are checking on me. Everyone expects us to have every manly quality in existence. People try to shape us into what they think makes a man into a man but if we tried the same shit on women, we'd be called sexist and then verbally attacked by feminists on a daily basis. 
being told I'm not a man just because I don't know how to fix cars or because I don't like sports pisses me the duck off. I just experienced something a couple hours ago that most guys can relate to. My GF made a teasing comment in public that was loud enough for people to hear. It was embarrassing so when we got back in my truck I told her what she said was mean and it hurt my feelings. Jokes are jokes in private but they aren't meant for everybody to hear. That should have been is right? No. Any guy knows that 5 minutes afterwards we're all of a sudden in a position where we have to apologize for being too sensitive. Not cool. Being expected to be the one to initiate a relationship really sucks. I'm terribly awkward and bad at it. It's sexist to say that women value being protected by their man. Yet I'm the one on spider duty and who has to go check out the strange noise at night. It's sexist to say that some women don't want to work and would rather stay home with the kids, yet my wife doesn't want to work and would rather stay home with the kids. It's patriarchy that keeps women in the home. Yet I must work because my partner doesn't want it. The wage gap is real and caused by sexism. Yet all of my female colleagues give away half their overtime cause they would rather be at home. So I do their overtime for them. Apparently everyone else's problems are also my problems. Particularly because being a western male I'm not only responsible for all wrongs in the world. I'm apparently the only one able to do anything to right them. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price. Bru